there is Find uh... a chair. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Top of the morning. Are you going to school enough, Brad? It's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> not, I don't want to swim hard, so we'll see. Slow and steady is the name of the Slow game. Slow and yeah. steady wins the race. Actually, it's probably fast and steady. As long as we get a swim, I'm pretty stoked. I, I think we'll get a swim. It's not yeah, like... Yeah, no, it's, not, it's changed a lot it overnight. swim area, location, to where there's no wet. Uh, the previous years, right? We swam the same, same oh, really? place. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. You're my new dad pick. You're in <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what's your involvement? Uh -huh. What's your involvement? Commentating. Yeah. With my very posh British accent. <laughs> so what's your what's your uh, experience of this course? <laughs> do, do you have to go into that? <laughs> yes. Um, fantastic one at the Worlds. It was... Um, no, I had a terrible swim and um, the bike course is great, nice and challenging. A few kicking hills nice, at the back. Nice. And then, um, yeah, with a tailwind back in, super fast. Yes, that's my experience. First long distance here, last year now? Yeah, last year November. It was postponed from, it's always in April, and it was postponed thanks to COVID. Uh, so I did my first full November. It feels like a few weeks ago when <laughs> we'll we back here. No, I got fifth last year, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, it was a pretty, pretty strong field. But um, yeah, I definitely made a few mistakes and faded pretty badly at the end of the marathon. Um, so look, looking to improve a little bit on pacing. Um, yeah, I think just being a little bit more tactically wise on the bike. I had a bit of a nightmare in T1 last year and missed the bike group. And I think it's really important to find athletes of similar strength of you on the bike and try and share that workload a bit. Especially it looks like we're going to get another strong easterly wind which makes it for pretty rough swim and really tough coming back on the bike we'll be into a strong strong headwind so having a bit of uh yeah having having a having a bit of help um on the bike will definitely be be pretty <laughs> beneficial emma so now you had a flavor of the swim yeah is that very good for, flavorsome is that good for, is, um, that, is that good for the commentary uh, background yeah i think i can now really um relate to the athletes uh, chilliness going in. No, it's fine. Like it's a bit fresh when you first go in, and then you get into your rhythm, and it's nice and uh, it's good temperature. Why are you here in South Africa? We want to race internationally? We haven't been able to get out of Australia, so this opportunity came up, and we thought, well, why not? So I have run. Um, since I was, I don't know, four or five years old. And I was getting significant injuries and I was on the bike and in the pool cross training when I was injured all the time. And so then I thought, well, let's see what happens in triathlon. Let's see if I can be okay at this. So I, um, I raced cans in 2020 as well and got fourth there. And that was my first Ironman and that was um, we were quite conservative. We just we had no idea what was going to happen. Just um, get out there and and finish in one piece. Essentially, was was the goal. And um, placed fourth. And I ran 2:57 um, in 2020. And so then, of course, we thought, okay, well, now let's start. Let's have a more aggressive plan for 2021 because we still couldn't go anywhere else. We'll go anywhere internationally for racing. So you won Ironman Cup. Yeah. And you're 20 minutes behind on the bike yeah. coming into the room yeah so obviously showing your room form that was a little bit right? yeah so got off the bike um yeah 19 minutes down and and i obviously i knew that i had to i had to go and a, a very similar to the course here actually a um, four lap format and um, after the first lap i had put more time into the girls than i had expected so um by it was about 11 k's to go i um I got into the lead. Well, what was your goal? What's, what's this goal for Ironman in South Africa? Yeah, as I said, uh, first international um, Ironman for me. So have been wanting to be able to come and race a different field rather than being stuck back in Australia and um, the same fields over and over again. So I'm looking forward to having a, a bigger um, pro field and yeah, and seeing how I go against the international women. So. What's the biggest thing triathlons taught you? 
patients. It's the era of the pro mom. So has that been different this time around? Yeah, it's been easier actually because I kind of knew what to expect and um, yeah, already uh, yeah, I knew where I want to go, <laughs> where I want to be. Um, last time was uh, 11 years ago. I was just on the start of my career, so yeah, didn't really plan anything. And this time we kind of have a plan to <laughs> to get back. And yeah, of course, uh, experiences made it a little bit easier this time. What's the target this year? Well, uh, yeah, a top spot on Sunday is is the first target, and then. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, have every possibility to make a new plan for the season. So I, I actually only have the plan until Sunday and then we'll make new, new plans and goals. Well, if the weather condition, if the weather forecast uh, is coming <laughs> like it says right now, um, it's going to be very, very tough, um, a lot of rain and wind. Yeah, we just arrived yesterday, so I'm, I'm doing like uh, one hour 20 easy bike spinning arriving here <laughs> and uh, yeah, checking out, out the course is the main goal <laughs> for now. Yeah. And the, and the, the girl Army. for every, everything. The Swiss Army now. <laughs> yeah, exactly this one, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's all about versatility. <laughs> but you're not coaching though, are you? No, no, I don't. I would never let him coach. <laughs> no, that was oh, so joking. Was, it would, would it work? It would, but uh, he's got other tasks to do. <laughs> Too much work anyway, so... Who's the boss in the house? <laughs> yeah, me, of course. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I've never cracked the podium in, at Ironman South Africa, so this is the year. Uh, yeah, the forecast looks like Easterly wind, which means tailwind on the way out, and generally a little bit less wind when you're going inland, uh, and then yeah, strong headwind along the coast coming back. So hopefully Thorsten takes that into account um, <laughs> with his uh, when the times are so slow on the bike. With the windy conditions, uh, it's a tough course, and the the roads are bumpy, and I think you just have to put out a lot of power all the way around the course. Um, there's no like any free speed yeah you just you have to work the whole way around um, so yeah I've been working a lot on the bike end and hopefully that shows on Sunday okay actually feeling stronger it's nice when it's on your on your home too if you don't have to travel too far it definitely makes a big difference this is it eh? yeah because uh, the last uh, Ironman was Austria yeah Austria and then yeah I had a bit of a um, some injury trouble with my knee, um, so it took some time to get that sorted. Um, but I've had a good, good few months build up now, so really looking forward to this one. Mm -hmm.